All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Monday night. The new look Clippers would visit Madison Square Garden with James Harden. They got a big four. They got championship aspirations. But Julius Randle was on a mission tonight. RJ Barrett was returning to the garden tonight. And a cast of characters, an entire team victory, an entire team performance by this Knicks squad would run these Clippers out of town 111 to 97 as I said man Julius Randle 27 points in a bounce back win you had RJ Barrett 26 points four assists how about my guy the block nest monster Mitchell Robinson and all in all the recipe for an excellent victory man 111 97 Knicks defense led the way here as well yeah Josh Hart with an incredible game how about Dante DiVincenzo with 12 points six rebounds in this game yeah Josh Hart 10.7 assists in this one and hey after a uh, a lackluster first half by both teams Al Knicks settled in scored damn near 70 in the second half and that was all she wrote, man. Win of the season. Best win of the season. Knicks get the dub. I think we should start with Julius, man, because he's been getting a lot of heat. Oh, let's we start, start with, with the guy who, who, who decided to play well tonight. Yeah. And look, I got to give him credit, man, because I would say that it looked like he was himself, but he wasn't even himself tonight, man. He was playing a different way than we're used to seeing him because he's usually taking difficult shots for the most part. Those yeah. step back mid range jumpers. He was getting downhill frequently tonight. That's something I've been asking for over the last couple of games, man, is for him to get downhill, draw the contact. And that's what he did tonight, man. And you saw when he was going downhill, the Clippers didn't have an answer for him. Kawhi could didn't have an answer for him. Nobody did. And what did he do? As soon as he got going downhill, they decided to try to clog the paint and then he uses he utilizes passing to find his teammates out on the perimeter or anywhere else. Even Mitchell Robinson down low. That's the stuff that you like to see, man. He got Mitch, he gave Mitchell Robinson a lob today. Yep. So that's the stuff that you want to see from Julius Randle. Major bounce back for him after struggling in the first six games. This is what, offensively. This is what you like to see, man. We'll we'll, we'll get back to the, to Julius that second storyline in, in a second, right? All right all I right. got we next storyline we got to talk about the return of my guy mm. Broadway Barrett, the new RJ Barrett in the building, twenty six points tonight. Rust, no rust, nine of sixteen from the field, two or four from downtown, six for six from the free throw line, along with six boards, four assists. I want to see RJ five assists uh, this year. I'm getting a little greedy, however. You got to love it, man. Patience, patience, patience on his drives. How about the way he's playing the glass? How about the angles off the glass, man? Finishing through contact, finishing over bigger defenders, finishing in the paint. Outstanding job by R.J. Barrett tonight, man. Got the team out in transition. Loved the way he looked with that second unit. That's the, that's the, the, the unit. That's the run that I'm looking for with R.J. Barrett. I think that unit has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. I'm just loving how he is attacking, approaching the game. Had some had a nice one-two game with him and Julius. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, this part in the fourth, I, I thought this thing really, really sparked it in the fourth. You had um, Hart hits a three. And then you had, I believe it was RJ that found uh, Hartenstein for mm -hmm. a bucket. And then Hart finds RJ out in transition. They really, that fourth quarter sequence was really, to me, what really busted, started to bust the game open. Was yes. was really Hart, RJ, and that second unit really getting them going. And so, um, overall, I just thought it, his effort tonight, his game tonight was solid. Uh, good defense as well by RJ Barrett. And, hey, welcome back, man. We, we need him. You got to go block Nets, baby. You got to go to the block Nets monster tonight. I mean, especially in the first half, when you're watching this team put up bricks, and look at how hard this guy, this kid is working to get them second chance opportunities. Like, if you don't see the importance of Mitchell Robinson yet on this team, just look at the tape of the first half. I mean, if Mitch is not on this team, <laughs> this team can't operate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. This team cannot operate, man. Mitch was outstanding tonight. And he's got a battle. He's got a battle Zubox. You know, a big. You have Plumlee out there. Those, those mm -hmm. are big guys. 
But Mitch was putting in work, man. Absolutely great game by Mitch. 13 points, 15 boards, nine on the offensive side, and four steals out. Was this was this the uh the Dante game? The hustle was on another level tonight. I felt like he still had that recklessness that he had against yeah. the 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 Bucks, but obviously it played out in his favor tonight. I like the way that he played, man. Yo, he's got bunnies. That man could get up. He's Bro, grabbing. Did holes. you see the offensive rebound that he got late in this game where he damn near hit the, the padding on the side of the, the backboard? Yep. I mean, every every game you watch and, that, and, that, and they're seeing the slow-mo, his hand is like right right up there on the rim is crazy bro and that play that you're talking about think about this one he flies in baseline to grab the board finds emmanuel quickly on the right wing dishes it out to him relocates to the right corner quick gives a quick pass right to him in the corner drills a three that's the stuff that you want to see man that's that's Excellent. that's the smart that's the smart off ball play that we've been lacking on the new york knicks that's why this yep. team's moving better in transition today it's stuff like that when you have Dante, Josh Hart, Brunson, Quick out there. It doesn't matter who, man. This team was just moving on another level, and Dante adds that. The rebounding was just phenomenal. But the other Absolutely. thing is that he's active, man. The thing is that he's all getting steals. The steal that he got on James Har uh, on Russell Westbrook right beforehand, yeah. right before yeah. that play, he gets a steal on Russell Westbrook, goes at Russ one-on-one -on -one in transition and finishes the layup. That's gritty, man. That's, yeah. That's what you like to see, man. He's not afraid. and Absolutely. He, he plays with a reckless abandonment, which is, is nice. You need guys like that. But when it, it doesn't always work out in your favor. But on a night like yeah. tonight, it worked out in his favor. Bro, this team is nothing without Mitchell Robinson, man. Mm. Okay. This team. Talk about it. This team is nothing without the Loch Ness Monster, man. Big Mitch. Let me tell you something about Mitch, man. Shout out Cody Glock. <laughs> Mitch yeah, we had more offensive rebounds tonight than the entire Clippers team. Mm. Mitchell Robinson is ahead of certain teams for total offensive rebounds on the season. This dude is a monster right now, man. I love, I love the way Mitch has been playing. You know, I just wanted to give him a quick shout out today because, you know, sometimes his effort goes a little bit under the radar, but... Yep. Listen, man, we are not in any of these games, any of these games, if not for Mitchell Robinson. So quick shout out to him. That's my guy, man. I've been rocking with Mitch since he got here. And you know my boy RJ? Listen, man, I got to say, RJ looked a little rusty at times today, and he still got 26 points on 16 yes. shots. Really, yep. really impressive. Um, you know, and he's been doing this the whole season on a bum knee. Like, yeah. that's really encouraging, man. Like, yeah, I, I really think that I, that he can keep this up throughout the season. I think he could, you know, jump up to a cool 45 field goal percentage and he could do that mm -hmm. on 22 shots, maybe four assists. I think he's solid. Great game from Randall Brunson. You got to pick it up, but I know you will, man. I know you're built yeah. different. So that's all I got to say for now, gentlemen. You guys have a wonderful night. When, when one of us struggles, we all struggle. So when Julius yeah. Randall. We have to help him. Like, we're, we're a fan of a team. We got to get him out of it because in order for this team to win the whole thing, I need Randall to learn how to, how to play pick-and-roll basketball. I thought one thing that opens things up for him is to get him going downhill, CP. We talked about it coming yeah. into the year. Get him on the move. Get him in pick-and-roll. How do you play pick-and-roll basketball with Mitch on the floor because of the spacing? What do you do? Let them play pick and roll together. Now, Julius wasn't great off it at times. It looked awkward sometimes. Ball comes off the foot. He takes a charge. But CP, he's got to learn it. He's got to learn yeah. how to play some pick and roll because you need, you need, when were we a great team? Jalen Brunson can attack the paint. RJ Barrett can attack the paint. I want Julius Randle to get downhill. It makes us a better offense. I'm t what I'm trying to explain to you is I think he, adding that piece to his game is only going to make him better. I thought we ran the floor good tonight. I want to, I just want to say this, man, one last thing about Randall and I take this very seriously. I'm here to support him. Julius Randall. I'm here for you. Cause I know how, how talented you are as a basketball player. When you struggle, <clears throat> we're going to get you out of that struggle because I think we're going <clears throat> to have a beautiful year you with you. 
We okay. can do this, Julius, but you gotta we gotta play some more pick and roll. Get you on the move, make you feel good about yourself early in basketball games. Thank you very much. Al, you know, I think I think now would be the time to get into the, that that Julius topic, right? Mm-hmm. He had a great game. I thought he had a great game tonight. I, th- I think Ron is on point in terms of how do we how does the team, the coach, Brunson, RJ, how do they help Julius get better shots and rhythm? So that he's not always taking tough shots that he's not always creating for himself. And I think, yeah, they've, they've got to start evolving um, in, in terms of getting in screens, getting him screens to, to get the ball and, and catch and go downhill and attack the basket. Look, with him, you got to take the good with the bad. Like, for this team to have success, they need him to play well. Al, I will see you on Wednesday for NBA Report and KFTV Post Game Live. To everybody at home, See you guys later. Peace.